Slack is a very well-known tool. It was launched probably about 10 years ago and it's been growing into a pretty behemoth application, even being bought for over $25 billion. Today, we're going to overview what Slack is, how it works, and a little bit more about who it's best for. So welcome there, my name is Francesco. I'm excited to dive into lots of productivity applications for you today. So if you want to explore the range of productivity applications and reviews, find the link in the description below, as well as some alternative Slack if you fancy it. So Slack is very simply a team communication tool that allows you to message very much like apps like Facebook Messenger, but it's very much designed for teams, communities, and those who are focusing on a common goal. Not very much like Facebook Messenger, which is a bit of a chat to anyone, chat to your friends, but it has the same basic premise. So what are the key features of Slack? Well, there's a range of them. You can message people, you can start threads that are based on a certain message that you've sent to help communicate in an effective style, and also create channels so that your team can be narrowed down to certain topics that they're talking about. More recently, Slack has introduced features like huddles, where you can chat after a meeting using audio only. And you can also send video and video recordings or screen recordings in an asynchronous fashion, which has been added to some of the pro accounts that are available in Slack. Now, to be honest, Slack is one of these experiences that many people know already, but get a lot of benefit already from apps like Microsoft Teams, Twist, and many more. And Slack is really one of the core applications that started this team communication revolution instead of just messaging constantly internally through email. So who is Slack best for? To be honest, Slack is quite an open canvas. You can use it for any situation. I guess anything that's probably bigger than three people would be suitable. And those who want to set up integrations and automations because Slack offers some great ones as part of their pro plan after you use the free limitation, of course. But Slack does offer a great way to do stuff asynchronously as well, sending screen recordings and videos to other people, as well as doing video calls and audio calls through Slack without the need of applications like Zoom can be really, really helpful. So if you and your team are looking to streamline the way that you communicate as a team collectively, then Slack might be a good solution for you. So hopefully you found that useful, folks. Um, and of course, Slack has been around for a while, but there's many other team communication tools that you can find in the link in the description. And of course, if you're interested, do subscribe. But I will see you in a future video, I'm very sure. Thank you, folks. Cheerio.